Hey guys, it is definitely the vigil or the eve of Easter Sunday. And I know you guys um, probably waiting for a while there, wondering if I was going to be out and around. And I am out and about today. Um, doing some chores and trying to keep some stuff from piling up and just got through doing some laundry and um, I've been reading the Bible here for, you know, a while now and I did come upon the, um, the reading that I have for all of you today being that it is March 26th. Oh man, um... It's unbelievable that things have gotten so bad for, for, for me and for friends and for acquaintances and even for some of the people that just I wouldn't even think to consider them to be enemies. But okay, so anyhow, I was hoping you guys would read the entire chapter of Matthew 28. It's got everything in it. It's got the... The resurrection, which is what we're going to be celebrating on Sunday, tomorrow. And it's got the report of the guard after Mary and Mary go into the tomb where the stone, the tombstone was rolled away. You know, those things weigh like, they, they're several tons. I mean, nobody except maybe God the Father, uh, you know, could move that. Um... And it goes through and it finally discusses the commissioning of the disciples, turning them from disciples into apostles. Anyhow, um, yeah, the entire chapter of Matthew 28, you guys, it's, it's not real heavy, it's not real big, but if you're used to reading the Bible like I am quite a bit, and um, feel like you've got some, some extra minutes and stuff to really really, really dig into why we are so happy about Easter Sunday and why we call it Easter Sunday. Okay, guys, I haven't eaten all day, and like I said, things have been getting real bad. The, the living situation here where I'm living has gotten really tough, and I'm going to have to really buckle down because in a little while I won't have um, any money coming in, and I won't have a job. So... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be really hard. I know that some of you have been battling tendencies, addictions, suicide, um, deaths in the family, deaths among the people that you know, um, tough times at work, bad bosses, bad supervisors, interesting coworkers, funny neighbors, you name it. Lent, as we like to call it here in the Catholic Church on my side of the Christian universe, has been absolutely devastating. It's been really rough. Um, it's been a time of purification, a time of trial, and we're all getting ready for that time of tribulation. We're all trying to get ready for the risen Lord. And if you don't know who that is, tonight, today, and tomorrow are definitely those great days where if you have not gone into a church in your area and gotten a Bible or sat down with some counselors or said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with something and I really want to know, you know, what do I do? How do I deal with this? Um, what are my options? Because, you know, we do have options. Life gets really, really hard, but we can't go around thinking that life is always going to be this hard. It's not. It's not going to always be this hard. When we um, realize that Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, died a few days back after being arrested, um, we realized that we died with him. We died because we had this thing called sin, this weird disease, this awkward spiritual disease that has been taking over, and um, we rise to new life with Christ now and forever and I'm hoping that all of you consider that now and consider it forever consider making Jesus your forever God um, I'm gonna let you guys go alright so today's theme is the study why do we call it Easter Sunday why is tomorrow such a big day 
and um, who is this big deal celebrity, Jesus, that we absolutely all want to know and have with us. I mean, he has my back, and I know he has yours, so take it easy now, you guys. Peace of Christ. Talk to you soon.